Hey, Kristen. Good to see you again. So it's Good Kelly morning. Weaver here. Hello. And Kristen Kelly, personal stylist, Kelly Weaver, personal branding headshot photographer. And we've already done one webisode. We're going to do another webisode. Uh, since you're in the wardrobe field and I'm in the photography field, I thought we could talk about how to use accessories to up-level your personal branding session. Ooh, so, yes, yes, yes. That's a good one. Good, yes. So I, I feel like as a photographer, I always hear that I should be telling my clients to wear very minimal jewelry, but mm. I am a big jewelry kind of gal. And I feel like, too. That, you know, I think that's one way to do it for sure. So here's, here's two of my favorites. And then what do you, how can you speak to jewelry and how to add that spice to your personal? Oh brand? my gosh. Yes. Jewelry is such an easy way to express your personality, right? Like if you wear big earrings or even I wear different glasses all the time. So I have different colors and different, all kinds of different stuff. Right. So I think if you think outside the box, right, um, outside of the color scheme and stuff, think of how you can bring in, maybe you wear big chunky earrings all the time, right? And your ideal clients would recognize that in you. I think it's, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a great idea. I do too. And you're right. It's super simple to change your, your jewelry. And I think, yes, if you're a corporate executive and you're going for a more corporate look, yes, maybe minimal jewelry, but us creatives, Bring oh, it yeah. on. That's what I always Bring say. Bring it in every way, shape, and form. Absolutely. Yeah. And I have a couple examples here to share if you oh, want yeah, to yeah. speak to some of these. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to take a look here at a couple examples. So this first one, this is a realtor, a super creative realtor, I will say. Her name's Lisa. And um, you can speak to her jewelry. Yeah. So I love the bracelets. That's probably something she wears all the time. I find that people either wear jewelry or they kind of tend not to. So for me, she probably wears that all the time and people might recognize her for that. Right. So yes. that would be part of it. What would your clients or customers, ideal customers, future customers maybe recognize about you? Um, like, in everyday wear. Like if they saw you on the street, if they saw her on the street, I'll bet you she'd be wearing bracelets, right? Yeah. So that's a recognizable thing. I and then her agree. necklace too is really cool. I love the colors, right? She looks like a Bronco. And her, sure. Yeah. And she's got those big chunky <laughs> earrings on too. So even I, looking at that, I would probably call her a creative without even knowing her. Right? Definitely. And as a photographer, I love when people have things on their hands. It makes mm. closing the hands so much easier. In addition, watches, gold watches, oh, yeah. or any watch kind of sparkly funky it. watch. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Okay. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah. Look at that necklace. That's Kaz. She works for One Hope Wine. And this was actually her idea to bring this glass. I'm so glad she did. But she debated on what jewelry to wear. And don't you think that is it makes oh, a huge just statement? Looks classic. Just classic black and silver. I love it. Black Plus, and... props are another way to really show your personality, right? Plus, she's talking to her brand. So Absolutely. people that see her every day probably almost always see her with a wine glass in her and hand. And instantly right? recognize or get a feel of what mm -hmm. she does. And then speaking of props, I'm going to move forward to this one. Um, giving your hand something to do with a prop is helpful. Oh, I love that. Um, so yeah, and don't you, and the poncho works. I mean, a lot of people think uh, use solids. Yes, I agree. Solids are great, but look how that pops. Yeah, it's a beautiful sweater, right? Is this the same lady from the first slide? Yes. This is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and again, totally speaks to her personality, right? Yeah. We do a lot of work. I do a lot of work with people to find those pieces, right? How do you, because your wardrobe really is how you express yourself to the outside world, right? Yes. And that- Sometimes you don't even get to talk to people, but you find pieces that let you express yourself. And that sweater is- that poncho, I know, it's so cute. And then if you look at this one- Oh, yeah. Look at the accessories there. And how easy is it to just add a shawl over your shoulders? It's an immediate right. pop of color. And then the belt defines her waist. And then she's got that chunky bracelet. Yeah, I love that. I think a shawl, again, is a great way to add color for sure. Right. Yeah. And it's not a jacket. Some people don't wear jackets. 
I would never encourage somebody to go buy a jacket for a photo shoot. If that's that not is, you and you don't have one already. A really good point. Yes, because there's other ways to emphasize your waist. Um, so for sure. I'm with you. Okay, well, we're going to wrap it up. So this is our uh, second one. We're going to have more to come with Kristen and Kelly on wardrobe tips when it comes to photography and how to make it work. So so yeah. thank you so much, Kristen, again. And yeah, it was super fun. We'll be doing I love chit-chatting about this stuff, and I know you do too. <laughs> okay, absolutely. And if you need a great personal stylist, it's Kristen Kelly. And we'll have the contact information in here. And if you need a great personal branding photo shoot, it's Kelly Weaver Kelly. Photography and Go Team. And um, yeah, we'll just talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. We'll talk soon. Bye.